Smelling salts for Ooh. the boys. So much to talk Ooh. about this weekend. We did a video dedicated to the book, The Game, on pickup artistry. Fez and I met up with the legendary Ross Jeffries, who was like the central figure Ooh. in the, the game. He hypnotized Fez. We took Fez pussy hunting. Yeah. To uh, mixed results. Very mixed results. Um, very mixed. It was, uh, you know, some girls started getting hostile when we approached them with such a nice little offer. I had to toast a girl. I toasted a girl for us, let's, for the boys. But Let's back up a little bit. I yeah. want to start the day, maybe. Everybody will see the Ross Jeffries, his hypnosis. But Leo came into the shoot on Saturday, because I shot Friday and Saturday. And the first thing we did with Fez is we're like, hey, we got to help this guy overcome his fear of rejection. And there's no better way to get somebody over their fear of rejection than to make them wear a hockey mask with condoms dangling out of all the holes. And he was offering girls uh, this trick gum on top of it. So it was... Uh, the it was the pretty... gum that snaps you when you try to pull a stick out. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, it was an exercise. It was like a drill in sports, you know what I mean? You, maybe it was like hitting those dummies in football, you know what I mean? He needed to do reps of just getting rejected as much as possible, as quickly as possible, in order to get over that, Right. Leo, is it safe to describe the look in women's eyes when they turned and saw Fez <laughs> lurking over them? Is it fair to describe their look as pure, unadulterated terror? Yes, especially because when he talks, you know, he could be, like this man could be deranged. You know what I mean? Like, is, is that an accent? Is that just the voice of a very, very crazy man? You don't Muffled know. Muffled by the hockey mask. Oh, yeah. like, do you want a gun? <laughs> Do you want the gun? This Asian girl in an oh. Urban Outfitters looked like she might have shit herself when she turned. Like she was so scared of Fez. Yeah, if she was on her period and like snee, like just it might a little blood might have dripped out. Like oh, yeah, she might have <sighs> popped the tampon out like a cork. <laughs> so we got Fez uh, used to rejection, which is good mm -hmm. because uh, there was um, an avalanche of it once we got to the bar that night. Yeah, I kind of want to do one of those things like in the movies where you start at the finished product and then kind of backtrack because let, this is where the night ended for Fizz. Leo is on the sidewalk. It, oh, on the sidewalk. Yeah. And he's Just, not, he's not taking a nap there. Is he Leo? He wasn't taking a nap. It was a very unfortunate KO. Uh, he got hit from behind. You got uh, knocked uh, out. Fez? Yeah. Someone hit me right here in the cheek. And he just went down? I think you'd have a hell of a chin. I think... Uh, so you take a bunch of rat dick punches. No, it no, was no. messed up, dude. A bunch of... This is why you don't get in fights nowadays. Yeah. Because these guys got jumped. I was able to help kind of break up Dino's fight. It was like freaking 14 dudes going from a frat house. And yeah, exactly. And they were all attacking from behind. In those kind of situations, I do believe getting away from it and just leaving is the only thing you can do in L.A. You don't want to risk that some guy has a gun, which often is the case. You know what I mean? You don't want to risk that somebody has a knife. You don't want to risk getting concussed really, really bad on the ground, stomped out and killed. You just leave the situation. When that happens, you leave. So let's back up and maybe describe why we were a target for other men. Yeah. We showed up. peacocking. We were peacocking as hard as people can peacock. Yeah. I was wearing a fur coat, a top hat, flight goggles, one boxing glove, and one rollerblade in a bar. <laughs> the rollerblade uh, was out of control. I mean, you were gliding on it most of the night, so I don't know how people didn't notice it. Uh -huh. I don't know how they let you in. See, that's, that's part of the problem with that bar is the, fi the fact that the Victorian let everybody in uh -huh. was why there was fights galore. But, like, they let Danny, Danny in with one rollerblade, yeah. a cowboy boot, a uh, ridiculous headdress. Oh, I yeah. Know yeah, uh, Leo was peacocked out, too. Yep. Fez was dressed up like a big Pikachu. Mm -hmm. He was wearing a Pikachu hat. He had his face painted, and he was wearing yeah. a bright yellow shirt. And me and Austin, at some point, when we were looking for him, the thing about Peacock, it was working because everyone knew who he was. Oh, yeah, I did see that guy. Oh, I did see the Pikachu guy. I did. I don't know where he is, but I did see him. Yeah, see, usually peacocking Fez is a way to attract women toward you, and they can comment on, oh, hey, I like this, or oh, you're so crazy. For us... The purpose of peacocking was like, I don't know, um, why you put a an orange floaty on your keys when you're out boating. Mm -hmm. It's to find the man overboard. Because mm -hmm. Fez would just wander off and probably throw up into a bush. 
and yeah. we would have to go find him. Right. You looked seasick all night, Fez. The problem is you had about four drinks and then you just could not speak any language anymore. That was the main problem. Because we, I would introduce you, we'd introduce you to some women a couple times, yeah. and it was just like, hello, Hermione, fair. What? Excuse me? We couldn't understand anything you said. Nothing. What do you have to say for yourself, Fez? Oh, it's wasted. What can I say? Well, next time, I think an upper for this guy. I think uppers only for him. Yeah. I think you had to do what we've been telling Rat Dick not to do. Right. You just got to be doing cocaine and Molly all day long. <laughs> <laughs> dude, cocaine and Molly might stimulate his brain. He might like be like an English guy from friggin' London, dude. Oh, hello. I'm Fez. <laughs> yeah, I'm an avid Pokemon card player. I like to collect them. I live with a 48-year-old construction worker in a hellhole of an apartment. <laughs> but you know what? Well, I'm still hellhole. happy. It's really nice. Put him on it's meth and lose some weight. That's that too. Do you know that too? Now I, I now should we discuss the fight like a little bit more in detail? Yeah, or just kind of. I, I want to hear about it because when I was with you guys, I branched off later in the night. Mm -hmm. Everybody loved us. Yeah, there was no animosity at all. Actually, right. Danny, that's not true. Some no, of the guys yeah, who would were jump us were us. like wanted to know who the hell were you, and they wanted to like do something, and I told them like, no, you so it's okay for the sir. Okay, so, so all the guys that I remember hanging out with when we were on the main no, floor, guys, they were like dapping really us up, cool. fans of the channel, yeah, cool guys. Pictures, yeah. Did any of those guys later end up in the brawl? No. This I, is a new crop of it guys. It was a new yeah, crop of guys that I, all I saw was Dino on the ground. I was with Fed having a cigar. I saw Dino on the ground. I went and broke that up. Five other guys I was came. On top of him. You just said get off him. Well, he was like, stood up. like he was grabbing you. You were grabbing him. I broke so you guys did, up. How did this start? I can explain it. Like, yeah, I, okay. I think he knows that. Yeah, Austin happened. knows the beginning. I know what of happened it. In the beginning because it, it was because of my crocodile hat. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and like at the beginning of the party when we first got there and we're all in costume, the, these same guys came up to us and they're like, "So what do you all have all these costumes on?" So these like, guys get zero pussy. Is that safe to assume? Yeah, they yeah. were like jealous. But of then us there was a girl like having a good time, yeah, and yeah. they were like, "Oh, they think these outfits are actually going to get them chicks." Like, blah blah blah. And me and Saltine were like, just like joking around, like, "Yeah, like these." Well, the like, answer is fucking yes. Yeah, there's evidence <laughs> of that. Yeah, there's a plenty of there so many women coming up to me. There was that crocodile. Hunt. We were the life of the party. Like yeah. you, you cannot pay for the amount of female attention we were getting. Yeah. Just dressed up like complete fucking assholes. Yeah. Also, <laughs> because these guys' night ended in a bar brawl, I know they get fucking zero pussy. Exactly. That's what happens. Yeah. Guys that don't get pussy, they try to fight, or, or you know, it's it, there's anger inside. They fight. But also, as Louis C.K. said, the most dangerous guy is a guy who didn't get laid at two a.m. <laughs> there's just jizz leaking yeah. out of his eyeballs. Like yeah. fuck you. What are you looking at? Fuck Pussy, you're fucking fu um, also, that to to put to paint the picture a little better for the people that don't know from L.A., like uh, the, the Victorian has now become uh, it's been a long standing bar in Venice, but it, it's now a college bar. Like it's a, it extremely like me and Danny were the oldest guys there. Maybe there was one other guy that was older than us, Fez. But like there was literally <laughs> everybody else was like. You know, Austin and Dino's age, pretty much. I yeah. mean, right? Would you guys agree? There was yeah, literally yes. no... Yeah, so really on hard. animosity for like a group of older guys coming out and taking chicks... That happens. But that, and I don't know why they took it out on you guys, but I know Saltine was involved and I'm pretty sure he might have instigated it a little bit. No, because like basically what happened is Dino was just walking around and since those guys were being haters, they just ripped his crocodile hat off of his head. Mm -hmm. and like well, that was it. the second. The, all right. The first time I was like kind of solo by myself walking through the party mm -hmm. and then someone snatches my crocodile helmet and mm -hmm. then like I try and look, but they're like already gone. So okay. then I get Saltine. I'm like, yo. Help me find whoever fucking took okay. my crocodile hat. Yeah, that, that, that might have been the that I bought for you for fifteen dollars yeah. on Amazon. It's a precious item. <laughs> and then I got that shit back, but it was like some cool guys. They were different guys. They okay, just, so they th said they found it on the ground. Did you hear that from Danny though? Like next time, it's probably not worth getting into a fight over a crocodile hat. And also, I want to say that Dino, this. I kind of doubt the story that Dino was attacked unprovoked because Dino earlier in the day went up to two gentlemen he did not know and he told them, quote, I took your mom to market 
and I swapped her straight up for a bag of dirt. <laughs> you told me to do that. I did. Well, you yes. did it. But your delivery was, it was almost like it was from your own soul. <laughs> but it was no, almost like you said it. That is like what happened, though, because they see us, they don't like us, but they don't want to fuck with you and Danny. Yeah. So they just decide to go fuck with like the littlest dude and try I, uh, to like that's be how a it is. bully. It's like just these frat guys that were being bullies, right. basically. Yeah. Even when I was breaking things up, I guess I didn't, I, to be honest, I did not see you getting your like hurt, Austin, but I did not get touched. So, so how did, again, Austin, how does it first start? Yeah, okay, how does it so first yeah, start? I want to hear the big bang moments. Get to the point. All right, so the, the, who... the dinosaur hat, Saltine, let's continue. All right, yeah, so we got the hat back, and then me and Saltine are like talking to some chicks back where we're like where we, where we were talking at the beginning by the mm -hmm. bar what was saltine saying yo like i'm gonna start a clothing empire it's gonna be a shirt with a salt shaker on it and putin's gonna be shaking it out onto a salad <laughs> i don't think it was that i think it's more like you're ugly uh you're not hot enough for you're me not, you're, you're completely i'm completely out of your you're, league like, like yo, y'all bitches are tripping like dude. i'm fucking saltine i'm p i push <laughs> you know what that means? That's more yeah. accurate. That was yeah, more, yeah, that's, yeah. Is that more like that? Basically yeah. what he was saying. And then uh, my hat gets snatched again, so this time I turn around fast and uh -huh. I like, grab the back of his shirt. Okay. I'm like, yo, give me my hat back. Sure. And I grab it out of his hand. Mm -hmm. And then his friend next to him is like, what the fuck are you going to do about it? Oh, uh, here what we go. What fucking loser. <laughs> and then I'm like, what fucking Retards, pussies. bro, retards. And then they both grab me. Yeah. And I'm like, get your fucking hands off me, fast. Okay, then, of course, yeah. Bleep well, that. Austin, Austin, can you bleep that? Yeah, Austin, bleep that. I, not that it was uh, unwarranted. No, right, it was but warranted. we still on the podcast have yeah. to bleep it. I I do remember you got thinking Austin? that both of you guys need to switch to contacts. I did find both of your glasses. You guys have to both give me credit for that. We're already getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah, no, yeah, so yeah. what happened next, Dino? And then I, like, grabbed the first guy who stole my hat by the throat and, like, pushed him back, and then I swatted the other guy's arms off me. Okay. And then they come back and they're still talking shit. And then I like smack the guy's drink onto the ground uh -oh. and then Saltine uh -oh. throws his drink nice. into the other guy's face. face. That's, you got to give that to Saltine. Is Saltine is a homie when a fight breaks out. Yep. Yeah. Unlike, Saltine. Unlike someone sitting next to you who <laughs> you know, I, just keeps making excuses that, oh, well, you should I'm not going to throw when a punch. Your homies are all getting jumped. I, I was breaking up. My job fighting. was to break up the, the fight, look at my six, make sure I didn't get hit. Anything. I'm not going to throw a punch for Saltine, dude. I, I don't think that that's smart, man. I mean, I'm serious. It didn't I'm, get like that it, heated. Like, yeah. it broke up again. Right. And then, like, it you're wasn't that heated people, either. Yeah. Uh, and they're like, man, that was crazy. Those guys are assholes trying to take your hat, blah, blah. And then the guy's These are just white college dudes, white frat boys. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. Younger than us, just like yeah. college frat boy pussy guys. There was Muslim. Yeah. There was like, not Muslim. Muslim. There was some Middle Eastern guys, guys. There were too. Middle Eastern guys who just jumped into the fight to beat people up that literally were not yeah. a part of this at all. Right. Okay. This is, they wanted to show their support, their solidarity with ISIS and their attack this weekend. They just <laughs> wanted to get their licks in and then they ran away. It was like uh -huh. actually crazy. Okay. So that's what's going on. So some then, drink swatting. That's okay. That's all in good fun. When does Fez get KO'd? Well, that, that well, comes, comes a little later. bit later. It comes a little later, Dino, yeah. explain about the chick attacking yeah, yeah. Saltine. Well, yeah, the chick, like, she comes up like a little rat and keeps, like, a fucking attacking us and swatting Saltine's hat off. She's like, with chilling. the frat guys? Yes. No, she, like, she runs away from them to, like, like yell at us. And then she That's runs the back to them. The worst is a chick who does the fighting for guys. Yeah. Who, when you're talking shit to dudes, gets between you and gets in your face and puts hands on you. I fucking... There needs to be a hit a woman, get out of jail free card reserved for those situations. There's a lot of Twitter videos that show that. So that's it's been happening more and more, especially as they get more. Yeah, it's it's if you're black, I feel like you can cold. Yeah, and they, that's usually what it is. It's a black man hitting a white woman. There's a lot. of. Oh, that's fine. Twitter. Yeah, it's that's totally fine. OK. Yeah, yeah the, the intersectional hierarchy. But yeah. if you're like if it's black on black and you just drop a bitch like that's it's all good. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. For sure. And if it's black on white, and you just drop a bitch. It's all good, dude. Yeah, that's that's yeah. definitely one of the upsides of being black. But basically, nobody hit her. Like, she tried to push Saltine, and he, like, deflected her arms, I guess. Yeah, she's trying but to, like, steal his hat, and he's like, yo, get away from me. What the <coughs> fuck are you doing? What the fuck? She's and just some she, college bitch, right? And then she yeah. runs back to her boyfriend and tells her, or tells him that, like, Saltine pushed her on the ground or something. Yeah, she goes and tells okay. her boyfriend that Saltine hit her. Oh, my God. And then tells her boyfriend that Saltine groped her. Okay. And then I come up, and the guy is, like, bitching out Drop Dead Jed. And I'm like, what's going on? He's like, they just got our, they just got the homies kicked out of the bar. Cause like that guy went and snitched to the secure, to the security. 
Yeah. That Fez was that that Saltine was going around groping women. These and guys like sound raping awful. women. And then I was like, who did they? Because because I was like, what? They got kicked out. What for? And then the uh, and then the guy was like, well, you should probably tell your friends to stop fucking raping chicks. And I was like, okay, what did he, Leo? Wait, do? wait. He used. I, uh, he used uh, I immediately assumed it was Leo. He used that. <laughs> he used that word, the R word. Yeah, he said, well, you should tell your friends to stop raping chicks. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, yeah. And then like, I looked at Dropped like and I was upright like. upright in a crowded bar, Saltine pulled off a, is that what he's accusing uh, him of? Yeah. Okay. I was like, what are they talking about? Did yeah. Leo do something? He's like, oh, no, okay. they're talking about Dino. And I was like, what? And I was like, you think my little brother with the dinosaur hats going around groping women? He's too afraid to even talk to a well, chick. Well, he should, he should probably change his shirt if he's going to defend himself on those grounds right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Gamma Delta Rho Sigma. That is Greek alphabet. And then the chick goes, no, no, no. It's the guy with the long hair. And I was like, Saltine? Like, what? That's retarded. Saltine's not going around groping chicks. Jesus And Christ. then the guy, like, that's we're still, like, arguing with us, his homies all, like, come up. And he's like... Yeah, man, that guy, like, they're over there, like, they're, like, groping chicks and, like, raping chicks. And they're like, we need to go fuck them up. And then, like, they run off. And I'm like, t I turned to his girlfriend. I'm like, do you realize what you just did? Like, how fucking stupid you are? Mm -hmm. And then she was like, I was like, you, you seriously think Saltine is, like, fucking groping chicks? And she was like, oh, I mean, actually, like, I hit him first. Like, he didn't even really do anything. And I was like, well, now your boyfriend's about to get fucking, like, knocked out because you just don't know how to keep your mouth shut. And then I ran off and to go back Saltine out. and all you guys up because y'all were <laughs> outside of the bar. Not Danny, but Leo and them. Mm -hmm. And then as I was, like, making my way towards Leo because I saw his big hat. Yeah, I was down in the basement on a mission at this point. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was on With a the mission. With the rollerblade. I was on, I was on, on a mission. Diamond. They made me take my rollerblade off eventually. Damn. But thankfully, I made Fez carry my extra cowboy boot yeah. all night. Yeah. He just had a cowboy boot. It's like, I carry these for a friend. <laughs> so I came and found Pikachu <laughs> fucking bobbing around through the yeah. crowd looking seasick. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, hey, give me my boot. And then yeah. I went back on my mission. Continue, though. So they start, like, going going and jumping saltine basically and i'm running over there to like back up him and then this like arab dude just runs out of nowhere and clocks me in the back of my head like i didn't even see him at all like literally just cheap shot at me in the back i think of the that's head. the same guy that might have cheap shot at fez later in the night yeah and then swolby yeah. sees me squaring up with this guy and we're like swinging on each other so swolby takes his jacket off and like gets up in his face and the guy like runs away into the alley mm -hmm. so then me and swolby so you're outside around. the bar now yeah, we're all outside the bar. What, outside. Do you know what time this is, roughly? Around, like, I want to say 1 in the morning. 1 in the morning. So the bar is not closed yet. You guys are yeah. leaving. Yeah. Okay. I got kicked yeah, well, out. Yeah, well, they got so kicked out. As, Dino as, got kicked out. As soon as Dino and, and Saltine got kicked out, uh -huh. I went outside with them. Sure. So the Arab guy flees after sucker punching Austin. Yeah, so then we go back over there, and then the Arab guy goes, like, around, like, the whole parking lot, basically, across the street. And then runs up and just cheap shots Fez out of nowhere yeah. like from the shadow realm. I saw him, and then he out. did once again. He bounced. It's because like a then, Native American fucking blow dart yeah. shooter, dude. So, Fuck this guy. Now I'm I'm gonna tell you what I think you should do from now on is avoid fights in any place. Well, we're not done yet. Yeah, oh, there, dude, get, wait, wait, wait. Let's let's, let's keep talking. Yeah. Let's, before we before we talk theory of fights in general, I want to mm -hmm. hear how this ends. So yeah, yeah. you get hit in the back of the head, Fez. Then what happens? I got up and then as soon as I, I saw Saltine getting hit by that white with a white shirt, I grabbed the guy, pushed him aside, and he says, I'm going to problem with you. I'm going to problem with you. I got a problem with your friend. I don't care. You, that's my friend. He, he says, he, he said you. he didn't have a problem with you? Yeah. The guy, but didn't he just punch you in the back of the head? Quit holding no, that no, mic no. like a cock that you're about to suck. There. No, the guy that punched him in the back of the head just immediately runs away afterwards. He's just yeah. getting a lick in and then dipping. Did this knock you out? Was this the blow that knocked you out? No. Okay, so the guy says, I don't have a problem with you. I have a problem with Saltine. What yeah. happens next? So as soon as I saw them getting down and dirty, I was like, no, I'm not going to let you hit my friend because he's smaller than you. Look at you. You're like freaking... Bodybuilder at this point against Saltine is a skater boy. Come on now, I'm not gonna let that. You're not gonna let your, somebody fight your skater boyfriend. <laughs> Saltine's a skater <laughs> boy. She said, "See you later." Boy. Our guests are here, He's by the way, so we should the... we should try to wrap this up as All quickly right. as possible. All right, uh, okay. So, um, Fez, when did you get knocked out? Let's just talk about that. Um, I just got knocked out from behind. I was the same drunk. guy. No, the no, same no, fucker? No, no, no. It wasn't that guy. That guy. He it was, was he's, a meaning guy from behind. No, I'll he never saw really the guy. Quickly. Uh -huh. Yeah. So basically, they're kind of scrapping. Dino ends up 
on the ground with the white guy who started talk about- the whole thing. Dino punches him like five times in the face, elbows him in the face, and then this giant like 35, 40 year old man just randomly runs in, decks Saltine super fucking hard in the face, and then he just runs across the street and disappears. Hell? And then after the fight's kind of like breaking up, the white dude swings at me. I punch him, I think, one time, and then he grabs my hair and then pulls my hair down. And then all the guys are like stick. kicking me in the face while I, I'm like this with my jacket. So it actually didn't hurt, just in my arms. And then Dino grabbed him by the hair, pulled him yeah, off. Yeah, I called of him me. gay for grabbing by the hair. And I pulled him off him. Okay. And then I look up Glad and you Leo's got that one like, in. should I start knocking people out? And I'm like, nah. maybe like five minutes ago. It was ago. just like, I didn't maybe get touched. Maybe you should have started knocking people I, out five minutes I, ago. Doing that is like, once you get into a brawl, you're in, you're fighting in a brawl where there's, it's 360. It's a terrible idea. If I would have punched one of those guys, I would have gotten hit in the back of the head. Yeah, but they were, there was like six. All, my job, I was, I wanted team. to try to stop the fight and tell you guys to leave, which is what I did, basically. I broke up what I saw in front of me, me and Fed, which was Dino mostly, Never saw you get attacked. And I just wanted it over because I don't trust that, like, Saltine's going to have the instincts to, like, diffuse shit. He's, he was continuing to call people, t- talk shit. Everybody's eight feet taller than him. I was like, he's going to get murdered. That, get the yeah. fuck out of here. I was like, guys, big. get out now. You're going to get killed. Also, to Leo, they I'm from big, big, though. Yeah, they I know. Were, they were tiny. They were like tiny. Pawns but listen, versus pawns. Obviously. And then and then, we then, have, like, a rook. Standing yeah. next to us. I was a rook. And he's just like, yes. hey guys. You, should have, you guys should have called in chill. the fucking queen, But dude. the thing is, Austin, <laughs> I have more experience than all of you guys living in California. And I've heard horror stories, man. I've heard horror stories. I don't want you guys to get stomped out on the ground. While I'm saving one guy, Saltine's getting stomped out. The, well, the only thing to do when you're getting in a fight, in a brawl in Los Angeles, is get out. You don't know who has a gun. You don't know who has a knife. You don't know who's going to kill you with their friends dude you don't want to die and have permanent damage because of a stupid girl talking to saltine at a shitty bar in venice it was kind of a good bar i'll yeah, say this i like, agree with everything the, the bar is dope the bar is dope i know there's like six guys about to jump saltine and i'm just like you know i think i'm gonna stay in the bar i uh, no, obviously not no i you ran come out, out back him up and then a dude just cheap shot at me out of nowhere in the back of the head okay they that, dishonored my crocodile I get it. hat yeah. yeah dude it's it, it's tough i when i was in my 20s i was so quick to brawl and i would have been throwing not haymakers but i would have been throwing my skinny hollowed my my hollow boned fists around not really knocking anybody out but trying to get some of my jujitsu going in my 20s happily but as I've gotten older, I can relate to Leo and that not only can you get hurt really bad, but also if you knock somebody out and they fall and hit the concrete, you could fucking kill somebody yeah. in a bar fight. That works both hey, bro, ways. It works both ways. You could get sued. Out of nowhere in the back of my head, like, it's kind of on you. I get you it. fall yeah. and hit your head and die. No, on I, I get it. it it's, I, I totally do not blame you guys for brawling, just for your safety. Yeah. And I also get where Leo's coming from, because as you get older, you start to worry more like, you know, I've got some money saved now. I don't want to get sued. Yeah. I don't want to go to jail, which that's more it, and more. The, and only the, win- the forefront of my mind now right. that I've been to jail. Right. But yeah, it, it's, it's tough, Austin, but... It's kind of got to be like, Jesus, you kind of got to turn the other cheek. I think it's sometimes. Not wor- it's not worth sometimes, it. Sometimes. Not always. I, I'm not saying what not, you did was wrong. Always. But we got we jumped. We didn't decide to fight. These right. Guys. But like they the core started attacking. The core, but the core of the fight, Saltine talking shit and, and, and Dino being worried about his hat. That is not worth any of you guys getting hurt. Am I right? I guess so. It, but those guys were pussies. Those guys weren't the they problem. Suck. They suck. It was of course. fucking Arab guys. There was like of two course. or three Arab guys that was throwing of course. that and I had co- nothing to do with it. I and completely, then a random 35-year-old white I completely man agree. getting licks in for no I reason. agree. I agree. But there's a friend of ours, me and Mitch had, that got in a, in a brawl at a, fi- at, a, at a bar like this, got stomped out, and he's never been able to talk this. He talks like Fez now, all right? For the rest true? of his life, yes. That sucks. That's Just sad. brain damage, dude. For real. And another guy got shot in the back of the head at a party for getting in a brawl. So this is the kind of stuff that happens my, uh, in L.A. My ex, you want to avoid for Saltine. My ex's mom. Talk, shit. My, my, they, one of my best friends. So we got to we gotta stop cutting each other off here. Mm-hmm. My ex's mom had a boyfriend whose brother died in a bar fight, too. Like, bar fights are really fucking dangerous. Unless yeah. you can isolate the guy you want to fight, get him outside on some grass. Mm-hmm. If you can do that, if you want to fight one-on-one, fight one-on-one. But yeah, I, I discourage people, and I've done plenty of it, and I got out unscathed. But be careful. 
fighting in bars. Especially nowadays. Very Nobody dangerous. has honor. People just hit people from behind. They hit people in the back of the head when they're not looking. That It's not a normal situation where you're going to fight someone and you have your homies protecting your six. Then it's it's different. You know what I mean? Like, it's not worth it, Austin. And both of you guys should have contacts from now on. I mean, honestly, if you guys want to brawl, 